Ford has been more willing than most of its competitors to infuse its big trucks and SUVs with new school ideas. It led the industry in shifting pickup trucks and SUVs from V8 power to downsized, turbocharged V6S. It reduced the mass of its F-Series pickups with the first-ever bodies made from aluminum. It was an early adopter of independent rear suspensions for its big SUVs, a move that improved third-row comfort and ride quality at the same time. How would Ford's new school thinking play out in the first all-new expedition in 11 years? Now that we've put some miles on one, we know, it seems more old school than new. That's not entirely a bad thing, but it's not the outcome we were hoping for, especially given how much we like its F-150 pickup cousin, enough to make that model a 10 best trucks and SUVs winner. Something old, something new. Ford held to the old school big SUV blueprint by again basing the Expedition on a heavy, truck-type steel frame, but, as with the F-150, the new model has been pushed further toward modernity with an aluminum body. The lighter bodywork has helped slim the top spec, four-wheel drive Expedition Platinum by 238 pounds compared with the last generation Platinum we tested, even as the new truck has grown 4 inches in length. The old Expedition already benefited from the third row space advantage of an independent rear suspension, which allows a flat floor all the way to the rear. And the previous Expedition switched to a twin turbocharged 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 back in 2015. Both of those features are carried forward, although the V6 now is based on the latest version of that engine that powers the F150 and the new Lincoln Navigator. In Expedition Platinum guys it makes 400 horsepower and 480 pounds to foot of torque, improvements of 35 horses and 60 pounds to foot over last year's model. The XLT and Limited models get the same 375 horsepower, 470 pounds to foot output as in the F150, bolted to the torque EV6 is another leading edge component, a new 10-speed automatic co-developed with General Motors. Expeditions with four-wheel drive can tow up to 9,200 pounds. Greyhound, look out! The Expedition Ace is the primary mission of every big SUV, which is to serve as a bus, with room for a horde of passengers and their cargo. It's a half foot longer than a Chevrolet Tahoe, and its voluminous interior offers comfortable seats and stretch out room for adults in all three rows. That's something the standard length Tahoe, GMC Yukon and Cadillac Escalade, all of which still employ space sapping solid rear axles, can't match. Our Platinum was equipped with optional second row captain's chairs, making it a seven-seater, a three-seat, second row bench is standard on all expeditions. If that's not enough space for you, there's a huger, stretchier, long wheelbase Expedition Max, what used to be called the L, that is almost as long as the Chevy Suburban, GMC Yukon XL. Cadillac Escalade SV. Ford also has taken this opportunity to bring the new Expedition up to date in terms of infotainment, connectivity, and safety systems. Loaded versions like our Platinum test truck offer the latest SYNC 3 infotainment system, a pair of USB ports for each row of seats, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity, a Wi-Fi hotspot that supports up to 10 devices, and more. A full suite of driver aids is available including front automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane keeping assist, and adaptive cruise control.